before you can start selling your products through Google Shopping, you need to set up a Google Merchant Center account and you need to claim and verify your Shopify website with that Merchant Center account. And so that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this particular video. If you haven't already done so, you need to go to merchants.google.com and set up your Merchant Center account. I would recommend that you use the same email address that you use to log into your Google Ads account to set this up. Once you're in, you should see something like this. First thing you need to do is go to your business information where you're going to put all your, the, the info about your, your business here. Now, the business name, the business name that you, the display name that you enter here is what will actually show in your product ads in Google Shopping here. So this, this mnmdirect.com um, under Armour UK that is pulled from this business display name here. So don't make it really, really long. If you do have a particularly long name, maybe you can um, shorten it a little bit, but, but keep it short and snappy um, so that it's clear who you are and it looks good on the ads. Uh, obviously add all your business address and contact information here, fill as much as you can. Uh, just for the brand, the branding section, you can add different colors. Um, here, if, if you've got, it explains down here about your branding, uh, you can add different accent and main colours here if you, if you, if you want to. Um, not, not something that you need to do really though, I don't think. Um, but you, it is a good idea to upload your logos here. The specifications are over on the right hand side here. They do need to be quite big, 500 by 500 or 1000 by 500. Um, and upload your, your logo files here. These will be used in usually mostly remarketing ads, dynamic remarketing, and if you're using smart shopping, they'll pull your logo from these um, from this area here. The bit we're interested in at the moment is this where it says website here. Now what you'll need to do is you go to your store's homepage. As you can see, this is just a test store here, but it'll still work the same. And then you just copy and paste your full homepage URL into this section here. And then you'll, once you've pasted it in, you'll see, you'll see this, that it's unverified and unclaimed. And you have several options here to claim, to verify your website. Obviously the easier, the easiest way would be if you do have analytics installed on your website. Um, again, this, this does assume that you have the same login for analytics as you do for Merchant Center. You just click on here and follow the uh, prompts. Uh, same if you have a tag manager, then it will, you know, it's really easy to do it this way. If you don't have any of that set up yet, I would advise you do this obviously, then you can click this, I have access to my server here and the add an HTML tag to my home page. So here's the tag here. You simply highlight it, or actually you can just press that little symbol there and it will copy it to your uh, clipboard. And then you need to go to your online store, click on themes, and then under actions on your live theme here, and actions you want to go to edit code. Now this will, can look a bit daunting, so don't worry. It um, should probably come up with this. It won't come up with your template, but straight away. But you want to look for this theme.liquid file here. And then we're on line three, where it says, you can see that little triangular brackets and the head here. Go to the little, after the triangle, after the head, you just put your cursor there, hit return and paste the little code that you've just copied from the Merchant Center. Hit save, that's saved. And now you can go back to Merchant Center and then you're going to click verify URL. And then you'll see that you've got a little check next to the verified. What you want to do then finally is to also claim your URL. So it means that um, only you can basically use that URL with, with Merchant Center account. 
And so that's your website verified and claimed in Google Merchant Center. And the next thing that you're going to want to do is to get your products from your online store into Google Merchant Center. And we'll look at that in another video. Yeah. <laughs>